So these are our reference images. Okay, there's the exterior. There's some shops. Okay, there's the uh, flight board. Some couches. Okay, this is a good reference for the, um, the ticket booths, for the ticket agents and the gate agents. Okay, more walls and stuff and ceiling stuff. Scale on X, so we can get it like that. So we'll go scale on Y. Okay, so it's like something like this. Duplicate it. Okay, let's bring it up here. So I'm gonna make one in the center. I'm holding control when I do this, so I can, it's, you see these like, it snaps to certain measurements, and I just go one out. And that way there's something a little bit more uniform here. Well, let's do one in the middle, and then we'll do one like right here. Okay, then I can just grab the edges like this now. those up and we'll take these middle ones and delete them start from here this and extrude up I think that's the move and then you take these two lines and you move them back like this so it has kind of some shape this gets moved down and back as well so it has the shape extruded in and extrude them down like that until they get to the floor and extrude and take these and now there are some normals that are being doubled up on down here I think yeah see the Z fighting happening right here Let me get rid of that and same thing with this one just cause like later on when I'm like doing UV stuff that's gonna fuck us over so it's better just get rid of it now so and do inner and then extrude Move them down like that. Let's do scale on Y. A S X. Take this and move it up. Okay, so these are gonna. I'm gonna use this to carve out all the doors. And then this, same thing. I'm gonna take all of them. And do Control J. Put them all into one. Add a Boolean modifier. Now when I hide them, you can see that it makes those doorways perfectly. Just do like an inner extrude, alt E, extrude along normals, and then bring it in. But now at least there's some like definition to this frame, right? If this guy is like, the top of his head is like over here, if he's standing right there, then you can imagine that maybe something like this is like one head length, another head length, and then like a quarter of it here, <laughs> two and a quarters person, like, so it's like one, two, and then you just want like a little bit more, you scale on X, like, oops, like that, perspective warp, and then go boop, and okay, and enter, this button, hit it, and then hit the checkbox. Cool. Fill content aware. Content aware, this man's head away. Fill. Good enough. And then scale this down like that. Put it right here. Ooh, that, that's pretty close. Those dimensions are pretty close. And then the roughness. Okay, and then we can change the blend mode find one that looks chill. Might have to invert this. Let's invert it. And then do this. Darken looks okay. Soft light looks okay. Soft light's looking pretty good, honestly. Let's do soft light. Okay, and then I'm gonna do Control Alt Shift W. God, I hate that. Okay. Who thought that was a good idea for and A U cube A S and is that about how big those tiles are? Take it, a scale, up, extrude up, rotate on X this way, extrude out, extrude out, rotate on X, like this, extrude out, rotate on X, extrude out, rotate on X, out, scale up, select these, Alt E, okay, make it a little fatter. 
change it out like that. And then you do Alt D. Push it through like that. Give this the Boolean modifier it deserves. There we go. Fill, fill, fill. And then we're gonna take this, 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 and this, and going to extrude inner, inner, there we go. Like that, delete it, come in here, pop these faces on. the material that's on it. So I'm going to take this and extrude down. Kind of a little conflict I'm having. It's like, dude, how much natural light? I think all this side should be artificial light. So I could do stuff like, uh, let's see, put a mesh here, a cube, right? Scale down on Z. Uh, let's focus in on it and bring it down a little bit extrude the inner part of that, and that'll be its own material. So I'm going to go new material, this one. Go A, U, Q projection. Basically, I just want these and these, and I'm going to take them, scale them way down, put them over here, scale way down, but then take this one and make it its own thing, rotate it like that. Scale it up. There we go. U, Q, project, A, scale it up like that. There we go. Scale that. We'll Alt D and put it out like that. Bevel it. Yeah. And let's maybe increase that. And then. Like that. Three, four, five. Alt D, one, two, three, four, five. Alt D, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. You know what it is? It's that this thing, it's like the bottom half of it is wood. I think it probably, that's probably a good move. Where it's like, solo that, and then if I come over here, go K, Z, C, and just kind of cut along this bottom. And then we'll apply a different texture to it on top. Alt Z, grab all this, and we're gonna give it light molding, and we'll sign it. Uh, oh, I guess we could scale it in though. <sighs> that's that's kind of shitty. That's like too low res. I think that's too low res. Old white door. And then that's too dirty. Fuck. What if I went really small? I can kind of dig that. I can kind of dig that. Get rid of all of this. Fill. Almost there. Fill. Fill. Bing. Bang. Bong. Boom. Enter. Straighten it out. Check. Put this like this, cut off these sides, top. All right, and this can go here. Maybe even bring it all the way to like right here. A, U, Q, project. G. 
this one should be maybe like that. It's like, who knows what any of that shit does. Doesn't really do anything in the game. But it looks very official. And proprietary. <laughs> Alright, so here's our little, uh... London Airport. Come on! 